Hey guys, it's Riley Byrne from FixPectus.com. In today's video, what I wanted to talk about is clothing tips for Pectus Excavator. Typically, the thing I'd recommend is a loose fitting shirt, okay? If you're insecure about your pectus and something that I found really bugged me, like actually more than being topless when I saw this, was when I could see my protruding ribs and pot belly and then this hole, this, you know, the shirt looked really tight around my belly and then I had this hole in my chest. I remember seeing a photo of that when I was about 10 years old and just being mortified. It was the worst thing ever. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. Um, and so, you know, because of that, obviously one thing we probably want to avoid uh, when we're choosing our clothing then is tight clothing. In this video, I actually am wearing a, uh, a tight shirt and uh, it works now. And the reason it works is because I've built my pecs, so they protrude way more than anything else. And so it just is tight around here, tight around my shoulders and my arms, makes me look bigger, and then it just falls nicely down, okay? Uh, when it doesn't work is when you haven't built muscle and you don't have a good physique and you've got that anterior tilt and a protruding pot belly and your posture's bad like this and then your belly slouching out and there's a visible dent there and it doesn't look good and I know the feels, it sucks. Um, and so guys, tips are, uh, when you're at that point, change your body, one, so you can get to the point where you can wear any style of shirt, whatever your style is, whatever you like and rock it. You know, you can wear tight clothes and they'll look good. You can wear baggy clothes if that's your style and they'll look good. Um, so that's tip one, get to that point. Sign up to my coaching, follow the programs that have helped hundreds of people before you fix their pectus too. Okay, so link is in the description for that. Then the other tip is while you're on that journey and you're not liking the way you look, change your clothing. Baggy clothes, thick material, that's really gonna help. It's those thin material shirts like the, um, I've got one here, um, you know, that it's like a really thin material. It's like a sports shirt. It's made out of polyester, so it kind of sucks to you. When you get sweaty, it sucks to you. And then that's when it really accentuates it. So you wanna avoid that. I'd go more like a cotton thick, fabric, okay, and baggy and, and too big for you, oversized. That's gonna help. It's gonna help make that look better and you're not gonna get that appearance. Also, I used to wear two shirts. I know a lot of people do as well. Two shirts can help as well. Um, but, you know, it's not something you wanna be doing forever. You don't wanna be forced into wearing baggy, thick clothes or two shirts. So you do wanna make a change. But for now, they would be the tips, you know, baggier shirt, um, uh, two shirts. Obviously, if you're wearing jumpers and flannies and you're in a colder climate, then it's less of an issue. It's more so when you're not in, um, you know, it's more so when you're in a warmer climate and you're wearing like a t-shirt and, and what to do in that situation. I'll put on a, a baggier kind of typical shirt that I'd recommend if you're struggling with it and kind of what I wear a lot of the time anyway, just has the style I like. When I work out, I wear tight fitting shirts and I still wear them a lot of the time, like what I'm wearing now. But then sometimes when I'm going out and stuff, I, I don't like to try and show off the muscles. I'd rather just like a baggy, a more relaxed look. Um, I'll put it on. Obviously I've got the shirt I was wearing before underneath, but you get the vibe. It's thick, it's cotton, it's big sleeves, and um, that's gonna help hide your pectus. And then obviously this has the two shirt situation too, which is gonna help. So there are tips, tips and tricks, but change your body guys. Don't just live in victim mode set, don't ex mindset, don't accept how you are. Make changes, there's lots of things you can do. You can build muscle, fix your posture. Firstly, that should be the cornerstone of everyone's training. And then there's vacuum bell therapy, there's other, there's other things you can add on top if you have a more severe case, but exercise and stretching and postural correction works really, really well if you have a more mild case. And then if you're really wanting, obviously the sternum lift and vacuum belt therapy, braces, other things can come into play. And um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And if you wanna change your body so that you're confident in it with a shirt on, without a shirt on, then link is in the description for my coaching. It's gonna be the best thing for you to do, guys. So um, I'd, I'd love to coach you. So go to fixpectus.com, book a strategy call with me, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.